What's going on everybody? This is Ricky J. If you missed it at E3 this weekend via Games Radar Esports Boxing Club showcased 120 second clip showing some new gameplay footage and it wasn't a lot. I'll be honest with you guys, I was expecting more, man. We were expecting more, but they did release some new gameplay footage, and I thought, why not dive into the details? But before we get into that, I'm going to show you what they showcased at E3. Here we go, baby. Adrian! <laughs> I was doing Rocky. Sorry, I just always wanted to do that. It's because our next game is all about floating like a butterfly, stinging like a bee. Check out this exclusive presentation from Steel City Interactive about eSports Boxing Club. Coming later in 2021, Esports Boxing Club brings you the greatest fight roster in video game history. With over 200 fighters already signed, we've got some of the biggest and most anticipated the names. Of all time. From the absolute legends of the sport to the most exciting names in boxing today. the first women's division ever represented in a video game, and the hottest new talent. But what about the game? Let's take a closer look at the next-gen visuals and gameplay that are set to make ESBC the greatest of all time. That's good, there's definitely one for the grandkids and stuff to say, when your old granddad was in a game and busting people up, so aye, it's, uh, it's gonna be quite cool. So the movement system in ESBC is all about fluidity, being able to create angles, recreating mannerisms from boxes. The physics system doesn't just rely on animation, this allows us to recreate realistic knockdowns. Even when a fighter's unsteady on their feet, it's not purely animation based. Now we've had professional boxers, professional coaches come into the studio and provide input through motion capture and actually reviewing the game during its development and now we really feel like we've created a true representation of the sport. Presentation is important to us just because we are in the studio we're still going to aim high when it comes to production values. Esports Boxing Club coming to PC and all major consoles with early access in 2021. Esports Boxing Club is coming to PC, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and Series S. Now the first thing I want to talk about is the physics system. And as the developer was just talking about, it is not animation based, it's physics based. And the cool thing about this is that every knockdown and every knockout is going to be very unique depending on where you land your shots on your opponent. And they were talking about this in the alpha gameplay footage. They were saying that your intended target sometimes will be missed. If you're looking to, I don't know, target the left eye, you may hit the neck by accident, you know, because if your opponent moves around and those shots are going to hurt your opponent they are going to connect and register but that will leave those knockdowns to be very unpredictable because sometimes like I said you're gonna aim for a particular target your opponent may move you'll connect in an area that you're not you know thinking about landing on and they will go down in a very bizarre way as you see in this footage these are going to leave you basically breathless in my opinion you're gonna be just a uh, jaw dropped when sometimes when you get some of these knockdowns just because it's not something you're gonna see every single time as you see here look at this guy hanging on the ropes for dear life and then his whole body goes limp right there loses his equilibrium and goes down and I love the amount of weight that is kind of presented with that body right there because he's just going down hard. It's not a soft landing, it is a tough fall, man. It's really, really cool how they added the physics system just because you're gonna see some very unique ragdoll knockdowns. And um, like I said, that element of surprise will make you want to just get a really cool knockout and record it and show it to your buddies or show it on YouTube. So I'm really liking the physics system in terms of the knockdowns and knockouts. So I want to talk about the haymakers that exist in this game and if you guys missed the last gameplay update there's this haymaker system where you have that opportunity you have that 
basically that pathway to victory where if you can land a big shot, it could totally change the whole kind of narrative of the fight. So they have that, as you see here in Gotti, going for that crazy home run swing. But look at this, Mickey Ward. Whoever was using Mickey Ward did a fantastic job just ducking under that crazy haymaker. And I love that, how you're able to utilize that nice little duck under. And it was like... He really went down. It wasn't like a minor duck. It was a major duck getting really low right there, right into Gotti's waist. And then look at Gotti's positioning, over committing and being way out of position right there, leaving Ward with a nice free shot. So the one or the many reasons why this is so important is just because it's going to, especially when you face guys online, it's going to leave that window of victory available for both sides man because if you're losing the fight you can go for those big bombs and really try to slow down your opponent but also this is this little clip right here showcases that a very good defensive mindset will enable you to have opportunities to be very offensive you know what i mean so having that ability to duck under is so important just to avoid those big shots and um, be able to to counter fight when necessary they also showcase that beautiful ducking technique in the Joe Fraser, David Adelaide clip. And you see right here, look at this, Adelaide stepping in with that lead hook. And Fraser read him like a book, ducks under ever so nicely, then comes up with a beautiful hook of his own and totally rocks Adelaide. And see Adelaide dipping right back right there. That is really nice to see. You know what I mean? I just love that very flowing animation. And like I said, it's going to... Get your opponent guessing, man, if you can be a very defensive fighter. I really like that technique that they have in the game. Another cool clip that I want to talk about and maybe you guys missed, it's that ability to be elusive. And you see here in this footage right here, it's between Aimbot and the art director. These guys both work for ESBC. And you see right here, Aimbot doing a fantastic job landing a nice little hook right there. But then his ability to kind of back step right there. You see that? I love the animation of him kind of moving that torso back, getting out of danger, and forcing his opponent, look at this, forcing the art director to go for a wild hook and totally miss. And I love that, that you're able to play that game of cat and mouse. You know what I mean? Stun your opponent, connect, and then you're able to reset and back away. Do you guys see that? I really feel like that, like I said earlier, that defensive aspect, that defensive mindset that they have implemented into this game, the ability to kind of create your own offensive, defensive style is really going to create very unique styles. It's something that I just can't wait to see when I see all these online people playing. Now I wanted to talk quickly about the clinch. They didn't actually showcase any animation in terms of the clinch or how to initiate the clinch, but they did show a picture. And as you see in the picture right here, it really looks like a realistic clinch that's implemented here by these boxers. Um, one guy's got the, uh, the underhook right there. The other guy is holding on with that left arm as well. And both guys are, you know, their heads are in the proper position. And hopefully you're going to be able to kind of maneuver when you're in the clinch. I would love that if you're able to <laughs> not shoulder shrug. Imagine you could do that. But just move your opponent around. Maybe kind of push them forward or kind of have a, a button where you're able to kind of release yourself, push off, and maybe connect. Hopefully they have that. But I wish they showcased maybe the button control so we could see what you could actually do in the clinch. Maybe create some offensive opportunities while in the clinch. And um, if that could happen, we would see people that use that clinch to slow their opponents down, but then to use it to create their offense. That would be interesting. But we didn't really see much in terms of animation with the clinch um, gameplay with the clinch so we just have to wait and see but looks pretty promising in terms of how the fighters are positioned now I just quickly want to talk about the presentation in terms of the menu system and as you see right here they have quick fight where you can jump straight into a fight against an AI fighter you could do your career mode it's nice that you can create your custom boxers and look at this, it says create a custom boxer, cut man, promoter or coach. So it's not just boxers that you can create, that's pretty interesting. 
There's also the store where you can purchase more boxers, and I knew from the get-go that they're not going to just give you all the boxers. You're going to have to buy some of these boxers. There's also news, and you see right there, eSports League kicking off. So, you know, hopefully we could all join the eSports League and try to get that belt, get that online belt. That'll be nice. They also have events here, and hopefully they'll have little challenges. We don't know the fine details about that. But also if you look up here, you look at the online, you're probably thinking to yourself, what's going on with the online? Well, the online, you have that opportunity to snatch some belts. And the reason I'm saying belts is because you can get the IBF belt, the WBC or WBO. So it's really nice how they have various avenues for you to kind of pick and choose which, you know, where do you want to spend your time in this game? For me, I'm going to tell you guys this right here, right now. I'm going to spend a lot of my time in the career mode, just developing my skills and then face the AI a little bit before I dive into online. I think the worst thing is when people just jump into online when they purchase a game before they actually understand all the dynamics of the game. And I think, who am I to give advice? But I would say first make sure to master the controls before you go online because sometimes when you go online, it may ruin the experience altogether. So I would do career mode let the game teach you how to play, play offline a little bit, and then go online. Let me know what you think about that strategy. Now, I know some of you guys were probably thinking about what is the damage going to look like when I start piecing up my opponent. Well, they kind of answered that here in this clip right here. Holy smokes, it's going to look pretty realistic, and it's going to look pretty gruesome. As you see that gash on that left eye, holy smokes, does he have a second mouth? He could talk with that gash because it's busted wide open, and it leaves me with some questions. Is the referee going to stop the fight when they see the gash that big, man? Is he going to bring in the doctor to take a look at the gash and just call it quits? Who knows, man? It just, it's so funny. When you see a gameplay footage, man, when you see gameplay footage and you're waiting for all these answers, sometimes it just builds even more questions. And I just have so many questions about this game. I want to see more footage. I want to see just raw gameplay and hopefully we'll see it soon we still don't know when it's released you're probably sitting there saying rick when is it going to be released they said early summer now in this footage kind of trailer they said later 2021 so later on in 2021 what does that mean does that mean in summer are we gonna have to wait to fall are we gonna have to wait until christmas time who knows but hopefully we can get some answers soon and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video just talking about the gameplay and sound off in the comments were you impressed did you like what you saw were you wanting to see more man holy smokes i cannot wait to hear what you guys say and can't wait to discuss it with you in the comments but anyways guys this is ricky all the best man i'm out of here take care and keep it locked here for more esbc footage i can't wait to showcase some more gameplay we need to see more man definitely but anyways guys all the best i'm out of here peace